All right, now we're doing 8Q, count the number of cubes with paint on. This is by Jack Chambers, and 84% of the people like it. So upon arriving at an interview, we're presented with a solid blue cube. The cube is then dipped in red paint, coating the entire surface of the cube. The interviewer then proceeds to cut through the cube in all three dimensions a certain number of times. Our function takes as parameter the number of times the cube has been cut. We must return the number of smaller cubes created by the cuts that have at least one red face. Uh, to make it clear, here's the picture down here to see uh, what one, what zero, one, and two cuts look like. All right. So, basically, the way uh, one way to do it is to stare at this thing for a long time until you start to realize what's going on. So uh, I'm going to do this so that we can visualize it a little bit better. Uh, so here, here's one, right? So one has, uh, excuse me, this is zero. So zero has one, right? Let's just put it like that. Zero equals one. Uh, now this is one cut right here, and we see there's eight. So one cut equals eight. So right now I can tell that it might have something to do with uh, this, the number of cuts uh, uh, and then cubed plus the number of cuts plus one and then cube that number see so right here zero plus one cube would be one zero excuse me one plus uh, one cube would be eight now here's this one right here which is uh, two cuts and that's gonna be 26 so let's come down here and say two cuts equals 26 all right so that number uh, is one less than three squared. So I'm gonna come over here and say uh, the difference between this squared, excuse me, this cubed and uh, the final answer is one, okay? So now we've got three down here, but that's where the problem is. We don't have a three. This good old Jack Chambers was like, well, let's make it a little harder. Okay, and now we've got four right here. Four, which is, excuse me, four, which is uh, 98. So the difference between that, uh, between 98 and 125, which is five cubed. Let's say, let's look at that. One, two, five minus 98 equals 27. So let's come over here and 27 and that looks like a number cubed. That looks like three cubed, doesn't it? Uh, let's come down here and let's say four. Let's say uh, five. We have that number right here is going to be 152. Uh, 152. And right here for that, the difference between six cubed and this number, we'll find that out in a second. Let's say six. Let's say, uh, where's the clear button? Here, all clear. All right, so 36 times 6 equals 216 minus, what was that number? 152. 152, I bet it's 64. Haha, -ha, look at there. All right, and uh, right here, 64. All right, so this these numbers look like, uh, what is it? Uh, three cubed, four cubed, so let's put two cubed is probably this one, so here's this, and no doubt, I've got no doubt that it's going to be eight based on this pattern, uh, so what would, what would three, 64 minus eight, 52, no, 54, 64 minus eight, 56, so this is probably, this number is probably 56. But we don't know yet. But anyway, whatever. So as this looks, I think we can do something with this. All right. Um, so we could do we could do an if statement, but since if statement and using the conditional or ternary operator is pretty much the same thing, I'll just tell you about the uh, conditional or ternary operator. So the ternary operator is the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands. 
a condition followed by a question mark, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and finally the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. This operator is frequently used as an alternative to if-else statements. So, in here, we're going to, well, it's already set up like this, so we'll set it up a little bit different. Const count squares equals, let's take this function out of here, just have cuts there. Uh, get rid of this stuff right here, <clears throat> pardon me, and turn it into an arrow. Then come down here, and so this is where we're going to do our ternary operator. So right now we can say if cuts equals zero, we can see that with our eyes, we're going to return one. And if cuts equals one, we're going to return eight. And if neither of those is the case, we're going to say uh, <clears throat> cuts plus one, all right, wrap that up in parentheses, and we're going to say uh, cube that, all right, and then we're going to subtract uh, cuts minus one, cuts minus one, and we're going to cube that. And that should work. Let's test it out. And there we go. And attempt it. And there we go. Now submit it. All right. And uh, here's this one. Pretty much did it a different way. And it, I guess that's cool too. Uh, we could figure that out, but I don't feel like it. And then here's this. I guess we could have done it this way, but whatever. Well, whatever. Maybe next time. Uh, let's go to mine. Just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. Uh, very much like it. And we'll see you next time.